Well, hey everyone, my name is Nathan Jones, and if you're new here, welcome. I like to talk about all things movies, specifically Blu-rays, and it's that time of year again. It's a consumerist nightmare. Uh, we just had Thanksgiving here in the United States, so we ate a bunch of food. We just started off Black Friday. We've been doing these deals you know, left and right pretty much the last couple weeks, but today specifically is the day that people are going to buy a lot. So it got me thinking about the seven deadly sins, weirdly enough. It made me think of, you know, gluttony, greed, that kind of thing. And then I started thinking, wouldn't it be really fun to do a seven deadly sins challenge with everybody in the community? So today I want to talk about gluttony, as you can kind of see. I think that's a perfect place to start, especially with what just happened in you know the holidays. But what this is is going to be a challenge. Is I'm going to be talking about seven films, um, each with the seven deadly sins, and I'm going to be doing a series on it. So I'm going to be talking about gluttony today. Next time I'll probably talk about greed because it makes sense. It's, you know, it's pretty thematically linked. But uh, yeah, I'm challenging actually you as well who are watching this. If you want to join along, feel free to, you know, go into the comment section, list the seven films you would suggest that would, you know, kind of fit gluttony in your eyes. Or you can make a video response and make the challenge kind of more, you know, personable and, uh, you know, kind of spread the love. So if you want to join in this challenge or at least kind of start this, you know, challenge as well, I would love to see people's responses because I would love to th see their take on what they view as these seven deadly sins unfold. So yeah, today we're going to be talking about gluttony. Um, tis the season, right? So uh, let's talk about seven films that I would recommend for having a gluttonous appetite. All right, so the first film is actually one that I have not seen yet, but I have seen plenty of clips of this movie. I pretty much can piece together what this movie is all about, uh, and it's pretty obvious. But yes, it is his, <laughs> the cook, the thief, his wife, and her lover. I always have a hard time saying it, just rattling it off. Uh, but yeah, this is actually uh, coming from Umbrella. Um, this is actually a Blu-ray that doesn't have the best you know, transfer. I don't think it's really been transferred very well, but this movie is all about gluttony. In fact, it says, a sumptuous banquet of gluttony, sex and violence and betrayal from the acclaimed director of Pespero's books and the belly of an architect. So yes, I, it's all about gluttony, like I said. I'm really, really excited about watching this movie. Um, but also horrified because I know exactly what I'm going to, you know, witness. I've seen pretty crazy clips from it. But as you can tell, I, I wanted to at least bring this film up in terms of I, I almost identify gluttony with this film and the, the things that happen on in this movie. But I, I'm actually going to be watching this probably sometime shortly soon because it makes sense just thematically with what's going on in my life. So the cook, the thief, his wife, and her lover. Check it out. All right, so next is actually probably the most acclaimed gluttonous film of all time. At least I, I would I would assume a lot of people would be like, yeah, this is a film that immediately just springs to mind gluttony. And I'm talking about Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, this classic film with Gene Wilder. Uh, wow, this movie, um, it's amazing, first of all. Um, I, I grew up with it. But it, especially as an American, this movie is like a classic because, first of all, I like sweets, and uh, this definitely you know, kick my sweet tooth when I was watching it as a kid uh, up until this point now. And uh, this is a beautiful 4K too. If you've never seen this movie in 4K, definitely I highly recommend you upgrade if you haven't seen it yet because this is an incredible 4K. It's very uh, vivid, uh, the colors pop, and uh, it, there's a lot of depth into it too. So they did a really good transfer on it. But regardless, this is a gluttonous film. I mean, Augustus Gloop is pretty much one of the epitomes of gluttony for this film. But it's all about consumerism uh, in terms of buying all these chocolate bars, trying to win the golden ticket, and trying to get a chance to, you know, uh, run Willy Wonka's factory and, and take over after he is gone. So yeah, this movie is all about that. So, uh, you know, it, it, it kind of dips its toes in, in other, you know, Seven Deadly Sins. But for the most part, you know, gluttony, I think, is like at the center of this film. So yeah, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, like I said, upgrade it on 4K. Um, definitely a gluttonous film. All right, so next we're going to talk about probably the most obvious gluttonous film on this list. Uh, it's directed by Larry Cohen, so you can probably see where this is going. I'm talking about the stuff. Man, this movie is so much fun. Of course, it is like a blob ripoff, which the blob could also be here, possibly, um, if you want to put that on your list. But the stuff is definitely on the nose, anti-capital, <laughs> anti-consumerism, uh, because it's a product that pretty much uh, multiplies and kills people uh, because they keep buying it. Uh, but they're so obsessed with it because it, it's almost like, you know, an, a, it's like an, a drug, right? It's an additive, uh, uh, you know, and that's exactly what <laughs> this film's all about. So it's actually one of the craziest movies on, on this list. Uh, it's so much fun. I highly recommend it. This is a really great edition from Arrow, just the standard Blu-ray right here. Um, this is just a fun film and definitely... If you're going to watch this around this 
this time of year, this is the perfect time to watch it. So yeah, check out the stuff, and I would say consume at your own risk. Next is actually a film that also could probably cross over in some other Seven Deadly Sins, but I'm talking about They Live. This movie is all about, you know, consumerism. Like, it is, like, just based on, like, obey, you know, consume, fo you know, follow through those those things. We got Rowdy Roddy Piper in here, uh, who has these special glasses, and starts seeing an alien invasion. So... It's a pretty wild movie, but the amount of times that, like, just, you know, the, the whole population is being consumed by this these alien force, but also at the same time, um, you know, telling people to just kind of routinely go through their life and consume what they're doing, right? And that's kind of why I imagine they live as a gluttonous film. You know, for me, it's, it's more about gluttony than anything else. So, um, yeah, They Live is an incredible film. It's got an incredible performance from Roddy Roddy Piper. It's a John Carpenter film, too, so I don't think I even mentioned that. It's a one of the best ones i mean how can you go wrong with carpenter right but yeah this is just a really fun film um and uh yeah if you don't have any bubble gum be sure to uh check this one out because it might give you some you know to get you know stave off that appetite all right so next is actually a film that there is an iconic scene in this one in particular that i immediately imagined when i thought about gluttony and talking about john cleese's character um, in The Meaning of Life. Monty Python's Meaning of Life. Um, this is a bunch of skits um, where there's different things going on, but there's one particular scene in this particular film that, you know, has a gluttonous uh, appetite because this man <laughs> keeps eating and eating and getting fatter and fatter until he eventually busts um, and blows up. And that is an iconic image in my mind. Um, and when I think of gluttony, that's exactly what I think of. Um, this is actually one of the first movies that I thought of when I was thinking about this concept. It was like, oh yeah, the meaning of life, duh. That particular scene is is pretty uh, horrific. So if you if you don't have a weak stomach, uh, definitely consume this one if you have it. But yeah, this is a, a Monty Python film that is hardly talked about compared to the other two films, uh, Holy Grail and Life of Brian, which are better films. But nonetheless, this is still a such a fun time with a lot of great skits. Um, and I, you know, I quote a lot of these skits uh, pretty regularly uh, in my life, which is kind of, um, you know, uh, an indication of, uh, you know, my sick nature so anyway i hope you check out the meaning of life if you've not seen it and definitely be wary of that that scene that i'm talking about all right so the next one is a david cronenberg film of course he's going to be on this list it's got to be cons consumerism right this is definitely you know uh, a film that i think kind of really just pockets into the fact that we just constantly uh, absorb and consume like media in general uh and i'm talking about Videodrome, of course. Uh, long live the new flesh, right? Um, this is a film that is, you know, there's there's a lot of different sins in here. Probably, you know, some greed, probably some lust. There's a lot of things going on. But for me, it's it's more of like consuming the media, right? It's it's the one that like you just get so invested in something that you just cons it consumes you um, as well as what you're trying to do is consume it. So it's almost be it's like a becoming film it's becoming gluttony right and that's that's how i view videodrome at least uh there's a lot of iconic imagery from this film um it's a masterpiece from cronenberg and it is def definitely um you, i wouldn't you know count you wrong if you put this in any other category but for me this one is all about gluttony and uh in that uh that form of becoming yeah but long live the new flesh and the last film I'm going to be talking about is a Hayao Miyazaki film, um, and it's definitely got consumerism uh, kind of printed on it, gluttony printed on it. I'm talking about Spirited Away, one of the best Miyazaki films out there, uh, definitely critically acclaimed in particular. But there's, you know, there's a whole giant feast going on with a lot of these spirits um, that our main character, uh, you know, kind of interacts with these other spirits, and they're constantly eating. They're constantly eating, like <laughs> so much so that they're growing bigger uh, and stronger. Uh, just more, there's more presence in the world. So this is clearly uh, a film all a lot about gluttony uh, and what it's doing to the society, right? And and kind of showcasing that. So there's definitely some film, you know, some ideas going around here that definitely you know permeate with there's a there's an issue in society. And I really do th just think that Spirited Away hammers away the the concept of gluttony. So anyway, what about you? I want to know what you think of the Seven Deadly Sin challenge, and also I just want to know about seven gluttonous films that you would consume uh, and, and showcase to other people. I would love to know down in the comment section down below or in a video. So um, anyway, happy holidays for everybody. Uh, I will see you soon. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like, comment down below, share, hit the notification bell, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I'm not jonesing around.